Hello community, so great that you are back. Today we talk about software engineering and the latest research to optimize your AI coding agents. Now, you know, software engineering, great LLMs here, reasoning over larger and larger code bases. And we have now the complexity of multiple tool users. So what about the reasoning process here over code, over large code bases, and now having tools like search, execution, patching, etc. And we are gaining complexity. So how can we improve now our systems? Now, SVE Bench, you know, here you see here for Bash only with a minimal agent configuration. Those are the performance data. Great. Now, there is a challenge here to avoid here the mode collapse where the models here overfit here to only very narrow solution paths. And this is particular if you have a configuration where we have here reinforcement learning by human feedback. We have a direct preference optimization here and a test time scaling. Absolutely. So how we do this. So we do not scale the parameters. We do here test time scaling in this particular instance for the code base. What is the new idea? What is the new innovation? What is currently the topic of research? How to improve here our AI coding agents? Simply entropy regularization. Now, I can explain this to you in within five seconds. Imagine we have a code base that grows larger and larger and more complex. You need more reasoning. You have more tool use. You have more dependencies of the tools. You have more agents that communicate. So the complexity increases here. At the same time, you have your AI coding agent and you say, great. Now you want, imagine this here spans now a mathematical space. This is the solution space. And somewhere in this space here is the perfect solution for your task. So what is happening in general, an agent starts, but we are somehow limited to a specific segment, if you want, in this mathematical solution space. And let's say this is here all the complete space of solution that your agent will find for your particular topic. Now you immediately see this is not a, or the complete solution space. No? This is just focused here in a very narrow subspace. So therefore you ask, hey, what about those solutions? What about those solutions? No? And you see the entropy is so, so important. So we want to have a regularization of the entropy so that our coding agent explores here different region of the solution space and is not just focused here on this one. Of course, this refers immediately back to the theoretical problem in reinforcement learning, exploitation versus exploration. So what are the solution? Solution is here presenting your new research paper Entropo is here, you have guessed it, entropy regularization is task agnostic. This is beautiful because this is not just now for the complex reasoning domain of code generation of software engineering, but this would also go with mathematics or scientific discovery. But more about this in a later video. Let's stick here with the publication where we go here and we scale here for the rate for our agents with the compute test time compute for an entropy preservation to maintain here the exploration and complex sequential decision making for scanning code base. Here is the publication, September 15, 2025, Northwestern University, Capital One and Meta Facebook, building coding agents via an entropy enhanced multi-turn preference optimization. DPO, you know everything, beautiful. So let's have a look. How can we optimize the next generation of coding agents? Now, whatever you go, DPO or we go here with a Kahneman Tversky optimization, never mind. Whatever those methodology do, they often reduce the policy entropy, as I showed you. You only focused in a particular sector, a subsector of the solution space. You don't want to. So therefore, we have to introduce a new term. And the authors did this with an entropy regularized framework that extends to those. Now, at first to the multi-turn conversation plus tool assisted Markov decision processes, preserving here the diversity across all the different trajectories we're going to compute in parallel in test time compute. Great. Now, if you're not familiar, Markov decision process here, very short summary. Great. Now, what we find now, what the authors found, if they introduce now this entropy regularization term, the entropy augmented the DPO loss, this is it. And if you go here with a multi-turn, then you have here the particular Q values that are defined recursively. 
Is this immediate clear? No, because in the paper they have some really beautiful case where they showed you exactly for the single turn case and for the multi turn case how they derive on this formula. But even this is not enough because if you look at the annex, there you have the complete mathematical proof of the proposition 3.2. So here you go. And of course, they also do this here for 3.3 for the multi turn. So it is not as easy as it might seem. But I will ignore this for the moment. I will just give you here the result of this new entropy regularized DPU loss function. And here we have it. Yes, of course, there is also an additional annex here for how exactly mathematically to derive here the entropo loss function. But I guess we just take here the result and we run with the result. And let's have a look if it's really great. If you want do not want to restrict you to DPO, but you go here with the kahneman Trasky here, prospect theory, KTO, the model alignment here, as a prospect theoretical optimization, you see this here in reference here to your PPO clip and DPO. Great. So we are focused now on scaling. We are going with test time compute inference. So in TTS, the agent generates, no, this is not, by the way, yes, I know some of you might say, hey, this is text to speech. No, text to speech is text numerical to speech. So current notation here, all the university you know in here, TTS is here, test time compute inference, the agent generates multiple candidate trajectories. We go with 16 in parallel for any given problem instance, whatever you go back fixing code repo, whatever you have. And now we have the task only 16 trajectory, but we have to select the optimal trajectory here for our coding agent. How to do this? Now, or just thought about it and Entropo employs here a hybrid selector. This is interesting, you know, whenever you're not really sure how to go, you know what you do, you take a little bit of this one and take a little bit of this one. And then you say, OK, let's build a hybrid solution. This is what happened here. It is great. And you guessed it. The first solution is, of course, here an AI intelligence. And the second solution is here a simple rule based where you say, OK, this is my heuristic um, rules that I wanted a system applies. So nothing specific. We have a probabilistic scoring and we have deterministic rules for the efficiency and interpretability leading here. And this is the big question really to empirical improvements. Let's have a look at this. Yes, of course, we go with Markov decision process and you know exactly why if you have seen my last videos. Now, this particular process now for Entropo is interesting. So at first we have this train, this AI trained very fine. Yeah? If you want, this is the device Oracle element. No, a supervised learning model trained on a preference data set, which consists of label trajectory pairs. So we go here with preferred versus non-preferred for the Oracle feedback. Something you know, absolute no problem, standard procedure. This verify assigns, of course, then a probability score here in whatever interval you like to each trajectory, to our 16 trajectory thereby estimating a likelihood of success. For the training of this trained verifier, yes, of course, for your domain specific task, you have to have a training data set, you have to train it, but you can use here a binary cross entropy loss here. This is simple, this is familiar, no problem at all to implement this. The second part with the deterministic heuristic, with the simple rule part now, is not as easy. So. No learn parameter. Instead, we apply here domain specific criteria catalog derived here from software engineering principle, what you want to achieve. In the simplest case, they go with a binary indicator that says, hey, we only go with complete trajectories. Well, of course, second, also a binary check that executes a repo wide regression test on the proposed patch. Great. And then they have a filtered set with the Ogmax function. They say, Interestingly, we want to favor here longer trajectory under the hypothesis that they reflect here more thorough exploration, so multiple code inspection, test execution, or other iterative refinements before the patch submission itself. So, okay, they go with this. Interesting for longer trajectories. Let's have a look, look at the benchmark at the evaluation of those. And here you see it here, test time scaling on software. As we bench verified and as we bench light, look, the supervised fine tuning here is this baseline here. You see, okay, not really famous. No? 
And then multi-turn KTO we have in yellow. Yes, it gets better here in this multi-turn training here. But really nice if we have now, if we add now this entropy regularized term, so we do not segment, do not restrict ourselves to a segmentation of the solution space, but we try to explore a complete solution space. Look at how much nicer our performance increases now, almost uh, 58, 59%. So you see here exactly 3 to 5.6% performance gain with an entropy regularization term. Did we expect it? Yes, of course. We are looking for more novel ideas. We are not here, stick here to the old solution. We explore the solution space. So therefore, in terms, Entropy outperforms your DPO by 5 to 10% absolute, especially here with a test time compute. Scaling due to a higher entropy, beautiful entropy term is crucial. Without this, we would not achieve these beautiful results. If you want to have here the numerical table, from all the benchmark data, this is for you. You see here our two entropy rate. So what is the summary? Easy, no? That was simple. Paper highlights that the entropy regularization in multi-term preference optimization is key for our agentic system. We looked at today in this video at agentic system for coding with, if you want, theoretical guarantees enabling here a scalable test time compute diverse exploration in software engineering great and you know what the beauty of this idea since it is if you want also applicable to mathematics to theoretical physics or any other if you want um, science experiment this is nice to explore this idea not just for coding but also for if you want reasoning complexities here for visual complexities for example but of course, it's not the only study I wanted to show you here in this video today, because look here, September 2nd, 2025, when agents go astray, course correcting SVE agent here with also inference time process reward models. So you immediately understand, yeah, this is by Carnegie Mellon University and IBM Research, a very nice study. Have a look at this. This is another idea, a very similar idea, no? Inference time, you say, yes, test time compute, let's go with this. And in this precious 10, 20, 30 seconds that we have here, you have now a process reward model that you build up here to detect and course correct trajectory level errors that happen now in your agentic system. So depending now how you optimize for what particular task you have to optimize test time compute scaling, this might be another methodology to go with. And of course, I have another study here. This is here from September 11, 2025. They say, you know what? This is nice if you go just for an output evaluated result. What about the effectiveness? Is it really the shortest, best solution? Or has the system been wandering around for 10 seconds, just looking in one direction, ignoring all the rest? So what about the effectiveness of our SWE under resource constraints? If you have smaller models, if you have not 10, 20 seconds, if you want to do it in two seconds. So what is now the optimization step if you go for effectiveness? And here you have Huawei, Chinese University of Hong Kong, King's College London and Queen's University. And they go here with a new SWE benchmark here using here a multidimensional metric, trying to incorporate here the effectiveness that they measure here in a very interesting way. Have a look also at this third study. And they say, yeah, we want to optimize here our, if you want, test time compute scaling performance. So you see where we are currently. Everybody is looking here at SWE to improve here, to make it faster and to increase here the entropy regularization terms and yeah, it looks good, at least 5%, maybe up to 10% performance jump for your next EI agent code systems. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in my next video.